Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello everyone. Welcome to my creative after cooking channel Ndu Dubai Fafa. My name is Fafa Gilbert. And just a little explanation. Ndu Dubai means food. Food in the Ewa language from Ghana and I'm Ewa. So Ndu Dubai Fafa is of course my Ewa name which is Fafa. Fafa also means patience. I'm still working on it after all these years. Yes, I know. However, when it comes to my cooking, yes, I am very patient with it to build upon my flavors. So you know this is a channel of infusions, absolutely creativity, you know, educating your palate to new things. It's an exciting channel, definitely. Please do show your love. If you haven't subscribed yet, can you click that button for me, please? Thank you, you're awesome. If this is your first time on this channel, you're very welcome. Did I have to say that? Yes, you are welcome. Mmm. Weson, weson. Mmm. <laughs> so today we are going to be talking about spices and how to actually enhance the natural flavors of your dishes. Now, the amount of spices that are actually available across the world, I'd say it's countless. Um, but these are the ones that I'm actually using and this is not all of it so I think I have to do a second part um, but I'll tell you what each spice actually has its own flavor and what it actually adds to the dish so understanding your palate or what you actually want for your dish so if you actually want a tangy flavor to your dish there are certain spices you can use for that if you want that woody taste as well there are spices for that and if you actually want that perfumery taste as well there is something um, as well for that okay so there are five basic um taste rules which are bitter sweet sour salty and umami which is actually that savory flavor and i'll say most african dishes actually do have that umami flavor coming through and yes you do have the occasional sort of sour taste um, also coming through but yeah I think that, um, that when it comes to African dishes we do have unique flavors and I love the way we actually use our spices as well and they're all natural just incredible you know good skin you know we eat well we eat well but you have to educate yourself to actually know what to go for because there are spices that do have their own nutritional contents as well so including these into your diet can only help you which is what i say you need to eat well you need to eat to nourish your body to nourish yourself you work too hard you sacrifice you go through a lot of stress and when it comes to food and nourishing your body, take the time to do so. So anyway, I'll start with the African nutmeg. So the African nutmeg, which is also known as calabash nutmeg, or better still, the African orchid nutmeg, because of the beautiful flowers that he actually produces, which are so ornamental. And um, the seeds, apart from cooking with them, also are used um, for making um, jewelry. So that is actually quite creative, I think. Now, the nutmeg, as I would say the African nutmeg, is similar to a normal nutmeg. The only difference is this is more fragrant. So this is incredible and you actually have to use it in small quantities. I have yet to actually find a recipe that has actually made anything out of the African nutmeg in terms of baking. That would be so good. It's an inexpensive um, replacement to your normal nutmeg, I would say. And um, interestingly, it, of course, it originates from the western part of Africa, but it has also spread to Angola and Uganda and um, West Kenya, which is incredible. It also has been um, found in Jamaica, so it's known as the Jamaican nutmeg, obviously due to the slave trade. So yes, it's actually similar in smell to the nutmeg, to normal nutmeg. Um, but I love this, especially I think Nigerians actually use it for their pepper soup, which actually gives it this beautiful sort of sweet like and aromatic taste as well. So it's definitely something that we use a lot in most of our soups and stews. Um, so if you've run out of your, you know, your normal nutmeg, just try it. Um, I mean, talking about nutmeg, I've actually got mace. So mace is actually the outer flesh of the, of the seed of the nutmeg. Right, so yes, nutmeg actually is more intense because yes, that, that is what it is. 
Um, and then the skin, um, which is just out of flesh of it, um, which is the one here, um, also has that nutmeg flavor, but it's less pungent as the normal nutmeg would be. But with the African nutmeg, it actually has almost like an aromatic taste and flavor to it as well, which actually makes it great. So yes, I love to incorporate that into my dishes. So do try it. There are some medicinal purposes um, for the African nutmeg, which includes um, acting as a stimulant for stomach aches, headaches, sores, and interestingly enough, is also used as an insect repellent. Better still, the bark, actually, it's used for fibril pains, um, eye diseases, and hemorrhoids. That's interesting. So, yeah. But then again, it's important that you use this sparingly. Um, so, you use it in small quantities because it also does cause nausea and, you know, in excessive use at times actually can cause death. So, it's just with every spices. You need to educate yourself as well. So you can use it, but just use it in small quantities. Now do bear in mind that the side effects also applies to normal nutmeg. So in as much as you do have the benefits with every spice, there are also some side effects. So if you have any worries, do check with your doctor before you start using this. Oh, it smells so lovely. So look at this, like, when I smell the normal nutmeg, it doesn't smell of anything, but I'll tell you what, even the African nutmeg, when I just smell it, you can just smell it. It's just good. Mm. I think I just call it Ihuru. Yes, I hope I've said it right, but if not, correct me. And it's also known as the Jamaican nutmeg as well. So yeah, it does cross everywhere else. So it's a definite must try. Actually, you know what? Why don't you try it uh, in grilling your chicken? I think maybe I might try a recipe like that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so to actually make this um, episode quite exciting, I have incorporated a recipe using the African nutmeg. So this is actually how you mix flavors as well. So this recipe is going to show you how to have that perfumery taste and how to incorporate other spices to balance it out. So it's definitely a must try, definitely. So I'm now going for this aromatic, sort of sweet, but also spicy marinade. So I've got my ginger here, which would give it that, you know, sort of refreshing, but also spicy taste to it. And here I've got my African nutmeg. I've got cloves, which gives warmth. And I've also got pimenta and of course my aniseed. So that's going to give it that licorice flavor. So I'm going to add that. And of course, I've got my chicken legs here and I'm adding some olive oil. So the olive oil is also going to give it this sort of fruity taste in a way. Yes and i've got one teaspoonful of my african nutmeg bear in mind i'll only just use one nutmeg for the marinade that i'm actually going to be adding to this so this is like a dry rub here so i've got that one teaspoonful and then here i've actually got my ginger onion aniseed and african nutmeg marinade as well and i'm just adding that to it now this is actually my first time of making this recipe and I really enjoyed it, absolutely. It was quite nice and I did love the compliments that I got. It's like, oh, yum, 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 yes. <laughs> so of course I've actually added my mixture and I'm actually going to marinate the chicken. So I'm actually rubbing it in so that it goes into every part of this chicken because that's the whole point of marinating it is actually introducing some flavors to your meat. Um, so yes, so do this till it's actually well covered. So far, we've actually got that spiciness from the ginger. We've got that um, licorice taste from the aniseed. And now I'm actually adding some vinegar. You can actually add um, the juice of um, a lime or lemon. Now, the reason is this is actually going to break into the fibers of the chicken and it would make it moist. Now, to balance that flavor, because as I said, the African nutmeg is also very aromatic, I'm actually adding some smoked paprika. If you don't have access to the smoked paprika, you can actually char grill your red peppers and blend a little bit and mix it with this. So now mix everything together till it's well combined. And as I always say, when you're marinating, avoid salt. Once it's about to go into the oven, then you do add your salt. Marinate for a minimum of an hour. And then just when you're about to put it in your grill, you actually add your salt. So with that, I've preheated my oven um, to 200 degrees. Um, this is for the grill and I've placed it under the grill. So for the first 15 minutes and for the next 15 minutes, I reduced it to 175 degrees. <laughs> so now let's check if this chicken is actually ready. Get my gloves ready. 
<laughs> Look at this beauty. This is just stunning. Akukonam, kuklu, kuklola. It's just beautiful. I'm just staring at it. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can't say this is any other food. Oh. It has to be the indudu. Look how beautiful this chicken is. Look at this beautiful piece of chicken. It's nice and crispy. The flavor. Oh yes. I can't wait. Look at that. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, look how nice and moist this is. And numb. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, dunk it in that sauce as well. Oh, flavor! Oh, oozing, oozing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Usually one would actually need the uh, fork and knife. Oh, no, no, no. This is so nice and moist and just like, it just breaks off. It's just like, the flavor's home. It's so hot. So of course you let this rest. But me now I'm in a hurry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. 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 Now I hope you are inspired to try this recipe. And if you have, do not hesitate to leave your comments below and share your experience. Absolutely, I'd love to hear that. Now, I will leave a transcript of this recipe, including the list of ingredients and measurements, on my blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as indudubaifafa, so do pass by and say hi to me. Yes, because I do like that as well. And a lot goes on in my Instagram story, so yes, if you actually want to check that out, that'd be great. Um, what else? Next time, I'll say this. Take care of you. Be you. Be beautiful. Be nice. Yeah. And I love you just the way you are. Do not ever change for anybody, but ensure that you are a better version of yourself each day. <laughs>